Okay, welcome back. We've got sort of a summary question now. We're at activity 2.3, where we have 10 statements shown in the table below. And each of these statements is either true or false. And we're going to tick the boxes to see, but I'll go through these. I mean, basically, this video involves you listening to my voice. It's going to be a very, very short video. So let's start with the first one. Packets have a header which contains the IP address of the sender and the receiver. Well, that's true. It's true because how does a packet know where it's going and where, and where it's come from? It needs that IP address. Um, part two, packets don't require any form of error checking. Well, that's false. In, the, in a previous video, we looked at how a packet of data containing binary information, binary data, ones and zeros, that an error checking method involved counting all the ones and turning those ones into an X value. This is then compared at the receiving end where they check the X value against the number of ones in the packet. So yes, that is false. Number three, USBs use a protocol that allows for error-free data transmission between device and computer. That is true. Serial data transmission suffers from data skewing. No, it doesn't. Only in parallel data transmission do we get skewing, where the bits of data may arrive at different times. The longest cable length supported by USB is 5 metres or less. That's true, and it's bizarre really, because previously in the book, serial is famed for being the best transmission method for over long distances. But we also said that parallel is faster. So it's quite a slow method of transmission. But yes, the con there's, there's a contradiction in the book in terms of USB is only at 5 metres. USB is serial, but serial, according to the book, is the best for long distances. So there we go. Number one, two, three, four, five. Number six, simplex data transmission occurs when data is transmitted one bit at a time. No, that's false. That's serial transmission. Simplex is basically means it's only going from the sender to the receiver. Not necessarily how many bits at a time it is. It's just purely down to the direction of, um, of, of the transmission, of, of the data travelling. Full duplex data transmission involves sending 8 bits of data at a time. Well, again, that's false. Full duplex data transmission involves data travelling in both directions simultaneously. Nothing to do with whether it's sending 8 bits at a time. That would be parallel. USB uses serial data transfer. Yes, that's true. We mentioned that earlier with USB being 5 metres in length. Packet switching prevents loss of any data packets. Well, that's false. Packets can get lost, and if we're using hop values, packets will get lost or will get deleted. So packet switching does not prevent loss. USB connections can transfer data using half duplex or full duplex. That is true, especially when we're using a device such as a printer, where the printer needs to talk back to the, um, to the computer to say maybe it's out of paper or there's a problem, there's a paper jam. That is it for this video. Nice and short, and there are the correct answers. Okay, thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe and please click on the notifications so I can let you know when the next video is available. Thank you very much indeed. Bye for now.